In this video, we're going to review logging into the Barry Curlin Club website. We need a username and password, but if we don't have one, we click Forgot Login. Once the new screen opens up, we will click on Lost the Username as well as Lost the Password since we have neither of those. This will direct us to enter our email address. Once the email has been entered, We'll press send username and password. A blue box will appear at the top of the page, which will indicate that the username has been sent to that email address. In real time, it's sent. The username is Joe underscore Perler, which is my name, Joe Perler. If I go back to my login page, I can enter my username and password, but again, I only have the username. So I click on forgot login. And this time, I only click the last password. I enter the username. It's not case sensitive, so don't worry about capitalizing. And I enter the email address and press send. A blue box will appear at the top of the page. that again says that the password has been sent to my email address. I'll go check the email address. And that email is already there. And it's a, that's a long password in this case. I like to cut and paste that password. You can write it down if you'd like and enter it when you enter your username and password. Again, I copy paste it, enter my username on the login page, enter the password, in this case I'll paste it, and I'll click login. Now, the member homepage will open up. The member homepage will tell me what my next games are as well as other information. What we want to do is change our username and password. In the red member menu, click on My Information. At the new page above your name, click on Edit and Update Your Profile. To edit my details, I really only want to click on User Info. On here, I can change my username. I like it, so I'll leave it at Joe underscore Curl. My password, I can enter anything. So that long password, I can now enter anything that's at least six characters in length. That red box disappears when the two emails or the two passwords are the same. I click on update, and now my information is updated. Perfect, ready to go for the next time you want to enter the website. Now you have your username and your password to do so.